In order to be a made member of any Italian organized crime family, you have to be 100% Italian so that they can trace your relatives back to Italy which means your mother and your father have to be Italian. So with this being a traditional rule, why is it that in The Sopranos, the character of Hesh, a man of Jewish ethnicity, is constantly involved in the group's activities? This is the breakdown of Hesh Rabkin. From his first appearance in The Sopranos, it's clear to see that Hesh is viewed as a close friend of Tony's. And it would later be discovered that he was also a very close friend of Tony's father. In a way, though he is not a made member of Tony's family, Hesh acts as an unofficial consigliere or voice of reason to Tony throughout the majority of the series. But his main role and the reason for him staying around so long is because he's the family's loan shark as this is the same role that Hesh had when he worked with Tony's father. But as we know, even despite his long-standing ties to New Jersey and New York, he is and cannot be a made member of either crew. But this doesn't disclose his importance to Tony, as Tony views Hesh as a almost father figure throughout their relationship almost as the father that he never had, one who was always supportive of his decisions and gives out the best possible advice on any scenario. We can see just how close the two are and just how much Tony idolizes him. As when Tony is having troubles with Dr. Melfi in the beginning of the series, he seeks out Hesh to fill in the void of being Dr. Melfi for an afternoon. While certainly being connected to the family, Hesh often keeps a low profile despite possibly being an easy target for the feds as he can often be seen inside the Bing or Satriales, playing cards with the guys and often attending weekly dinners at Vesuvio. As discussed, Hesh is a loan shark for the family, and it's discovered that most of his fortunes actually came from his time in the recording industry during the 1950s and 1960s. It was during this time that the music industry was thriving off of soul music, as Hesh founded F-Note Records, a record label bringing young African-American artists to fame, as he had his name attached as a co-writer on a large amount of these songs. This is very similar to the Motown music movement that took place during the 1950s and 60s. We see this notion come to light during the 10th episode of the first season titled A Hit is a Hit, when Massive Genius is seeking royalties from Hesh for little Jimmy Willis' mother, who claims Hesh stole over $400,000 as a result of the success of Willis' time as a singer-songwriter. It's because of Hesh's time in the music industry that he showcases to Tony and all of Tony's crew just how valuable he is, as he showcases that he's an educated businessman but can also play dirty with individuals like Tony, as we saw this in the pilot episode of the series, where Hesh sets up a scam to defraud the medical insurance company HMO, as he and Big Pussy threaten Mahaffey over the waterfall. And we also saw Hesh warn Tony about going into business with other Jews when discussing the motel that Tony wanted to take over. And we saw that Hesh was once again correct on his instincts when he warned Tony not to go into business with these people, that it would only cause trouble for Tony, as we saw that Tony was faced with numerous amounts of trouble since taking over the motel. Throughout The Sopranos, Hesh makes numerous appearances to voice his reason or to loan Tony some more money. But there's two episodes that stick out that showcase the true nature of Hesh. The first is the previously discussed episode of A Hit is a Hit, where we can see just how evil Hesh can be as it's displayed to us in this episode that he certainly scammed and robbed these unwealthy African-American families who were thinking that they have finally made it big in their life due to the success of a singer-songwriter in their family. However, this was not the case, as Hesh would take complete control of the label despite not doing any much of the work. Sure, he was incorporated in the business, but he was never a producer, a mixer, or an agent. He just voiced his opinion on whether he thought a song would be appealing to the general public or not. And as we all know, he certainly voiced his opinion when it came to Christopher's attempt at making it big in the music industry with Visiting Day. But the second most apparent episode that features Hesh is the 16th episode of Season 6 titled Chasing It. Before this episode, Tony was all in on a heavy dose of gambling, 
and to recoup and cover some of the gambling losses that Tony had faced, he looked to none other than Hash to fill the void, only for a short period of time until Tony could repay Hash in full, as Hash loaned Tony a hefty loan of $200,000. However, shockingly to us and to Hash's surprise, Tony fails to repay the loan. Not simply because he couldn't afford to repay his dear friend in Hash, but simply because he doesn't want to. Instead, the two come up with an interest of a point and a half, so $3,000 a week that Tony owes Hash. But this begins to irritate Hash, as he just wants the money paid in full. And it's within this episode we can see that this is certainly taking a toll on Hash's overall health and demeanor, as he begins to develop high blood pressure and starts to worry that if it's better for Tony to have Hash whacked, as opposed to repaying him his $200,000. In an evil way here, Hash is not wrong. Throughout the series, we've seen Tony kill members of his crew for obscure reasons. He whacked Ralph over a horse, killed his nephew Christopher over jealousy and the fact that he was a drug addict, and even whacked his own cousin Tony Blendetto to avoid a war happening between New York and New Jersey, despite a war being in the works already. So it wouldn't be out of the ordinary, and certainly wouldn't be out of the character of Tony Soprano to whack someone over money. And it certainly wouldn't have been a shock to us to watch Tony kill not only someone that he has grown to know and love throughout the majority of his life, someone who he views as a dear friend, someone he respects, someone he looks up to and seeks advice from, and someone who was once a dear friend of his father's in Hash. We almost see this narrative of Tony killing Hash come to life when Tony pays him a surprise visit accompanied by Bobby Bacala. The scenario for Hash is intimidating to say the least as Hesh makes his girlfriend Renata lock the door and hide upstairs before Tony arrives. Tony offers to take Hesh down on a boat, as this is so eerie and mysterious and evil in many ways. As we all know, the last time Tony was on a boat, he whacked Big Pussy, and even tried to do the same to Polly down in Florida. So we certainly know Tony's intentions when he offers Hesh to bring him onto a boat. As by this point in the season, Tony Soprano is on a downfall. He has become completely narcissistic, evil, and is full of greed as he will do anything and everything to stand above the rest in the mafia world. And if standing above the rest would have meant killing Hash, Tony certainly wouldn't have thought twice about it. And throughout this episode, we can see Tony mock and make fun of Hash when he surprises Tony and the guys at Satrials, as he makes racial remarks about his Jewish culture while rubbing some spare change together. Looking back on the relationship of Tony and Hesh, we can see how far they've grown together, but also how far they've separated. As in the beginning of the series, Tony stands up for Hesh when Uncle Junior wants to have him taxed. But Tony won't let this happen, simply due to the fact that Hesh is a dear friend of Tony's and his father's. But by the series' ending, Tony almost wants to have Hesh whacked himself over the $200,000 bridge loan that Tony won't pay back. Through the entire season, Hesh was a wealthy money lender for The Sopranos and possibly New York. But he also provided Tony, Uncle Junior, and Johnny Boy Soprano with excellent advice that they could count on when needed. When times were difficult inside the family, they could look to outside the family at Hesh for a calming reset on the stressful mafia life. It's unclear to us still how he wound up in this situation working with the mafia. He's very similar to other civilians who work alongside Tony and his crew, but aren't made members in the mafia. Think of characters like Assemblyman Zellman and Dick Barone of Barone Sanitation. Though these characters aren't made members of the Mafia, and aren't the cold-blooded murderers that we came to see throughout the series that make up Tony's crew, they're still evil characters as well as they work alongside Tony Soprano. It's been noted that the character of Hesh is loosely based off of Morris Levy, who owned his own record company of Roulette Records, owned a share of racehorses just like Hesh did, and was also connected to organized crime. What are your thoughts about the character of Hesh Rabkin? Let me know down in the comment section below. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links will be in the description below. As always, for more Sopranos content, keep it locked here, right here on this channel.